Sheer Heart Attack has no weaknesses, just like Electros from Pokemon or Morgan from Fire Emblem. But what could possibly be the weakness of Kira's second bomb? Is it the Emerald Splash? The Thundercross Split Attack? Or is it Superfly? Sheer Heart Attack is the automatic detachable substand of Killer Queen, and is arguably a better stand than the main stand itself. This tracking bomb acts as a homing missile honing in on the heat of a human body, but despite its resilience against Jotaro's attack, Koichi still managed to break the game by evolving his stand in the middle of the Pokemon battle. Sheer Heart Attack is unequivocally one of the strongest stands out there, and that's nothing to scoff at. A lot of it has to do with its design. The high power explosives and hemispherical shell on the exterior provide the perfect mix of attack and defense. But how strong is it? US military tanks are made up of a mixture of uranium, depleted from power plants, and titanium. But how can we make steel even stronger? Well, there are a few methods. Strain hardening is a method that increases the stress or pressure steel can withstand by using plastic deformation. By quenching hot steel with just the right amount of cold, you can increase the amount of stress a material can withstand. If you go too far with the cold, though, your material becomes incredibly brittle, and it will undergo catastrophic failure. And this is a real concern for engineers because that's why an iceberg was able to shred the Titanic. This is a Let me show you how it works. You press this. I'm Mr. Meeseeks! You make a request, and then it stops existing. So we know from a previous stand science that Jotaro can punch with a massive 3.4779 times 10 to the 16th joules of energy. However, that was only stated in part 6. Jotaro is able to use the world though, so he's probably moving 43.589% the speed of light, which was calculated in the previous stand science about the world though. This means his punches have 43.589% of their power, which results in a relatively smaller but still powerful 1.5159 times 10 to the 16th joules of energy. We also know that Sheer Heart Attack took a massive amount of consecutive Aura Auras from Star Platinum, and I was actually crazy enough to count them. In each individual frame, Star Platinum has 15 after images of fists. In a 30 second frame, this means there's 450 punches per second. When first engaging Sheer Heart Attack, there's one punch at the beginning, a rush of punches for 5 seconds, which equals 2,250 punches, and another punch after that, making it a total of 2,252 punches. This is followed by slamming two fists together and 10 more seconds of a rush, which is 4,500 more punches, which brings our total to 6,754 punches. Then there's five more seconds of Aura Auras, which results in a grand total of 9,004 punches. Oh, shh, 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 shh. So you think <laughs> made Morio a better place? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at me. After 9,004 punches at 1.5159 times 10 to the 16th joules per punch, this creates 1.3649 times 10 to the 20th joules of energy. At this point, Sheer Heart Attack has only 14 dents and 10 cracks in it, without Kira sustaining any major damage. Treating work as the kinetic energy in this collision, the force of Star Platinum's punch can be determined by the energy over the distance of impact. Using pixel measurements from the dents that Star Platinum left, the shell goes in about 1.5 centimeters deep. 1.3649 times 10 to the 20th joules and divided by 0.015 meters to get 9.0993 times 10 to the 21st newtons. Using the area of a fist as 0.00425 meters squared, we can determine the pressure in Pascal's from Sheer Heart Attack's attack, with pressure is equal to force over area. So we take the 9.0993 times 10 to the 21st newtons and divide it by 0.00425 meters squared to get 2.141 times 10 to the 24th pascals before fracturing. I mean, I've been looking through different kinds of uranium steel alloys and I can't find a single one that withstands this amount of stress. If it can't be an alloy of steel, then what can it be? Well, a good place to start is with the hardest place on Earth, the brittle ductile transition zone, at about 13 to 17 kilometers below the Earth's surface. There's an area between the brittle upper crust and the hot molten lower crust. 
keep in mind that this is probably the one thing that can withstand the amount of force from Star Platinum's punches and is our best candidate for what sheer heart attack may be made of. The only concern is that the temperature this part of the crust is at is 250 to 400 degrees Celsius. And I mean that's kind of consistent. We know sheer heart attack tracks down its enemies using heat, and it also uses the amount of heat to initiate its explosions. So instead of being a uranium titanium alloy like I originally thought, your heart attack is probably a mixture of ductile and brittle rock types, like cataclysites or pseudotaculites. You, you've been hitting it so hard you're starting to bleed, but it still doesn't have a single scratch on it! These two retards are actually dumb as bricks. It's an easy realization for anyone who actually watches the show. Thank you so much for watching. Check out some of my other Stan Sciences if you're interested in how JoJo's can teach us about science and engineering. Have a beautiful duang and I'll see you all next time.